And now this story tonight, 32 years after a Jefferson County woman was kidnapped and gang raped, her rapists are getting parole. And now the victim of the notorious Baby Doe's rape case is opening up about a decision she made. WIC 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff joins us now with the victim's unexpected action. Jamie? Yeah, Sherry, this morning in Montgomery, Michael and Kenneth Thornton, who you see right here, were granted parole nine years before their scheduled release. It turns out the woman they raped is the one who helped them get out. It was one of Birmingham's most notorious crimes. Since 83, I've been known as that girl from Baby Doe's. <laughs> it was a summer night. Wanda Miller had just eaten at the mine-themed restaurant when she was kidnapped and taken to a house in Pinson. From what I could uh, remember and count, there were about seven men there that night. And, uh, and I was raped uh, throughout the night. I went through a lot of emotions and accepted the fact that I probably would not live. To Miller's surprise, they let her go, thus beginning years of an arduous legal process. But I was determined that, um, that they wouldn't do this to anyone else. And Wednesday, two of the men who were convicted were granted parole. It was thanks in large part to Miller's support. She said the terms of their parole are better than the terms of finishing their sentence. They're going to have to register as a sex offender. There were a lot of pluses at this point that led me to not protest in their parole. I don't want to see them hurt another person, but I think what we did today may help them from doing that. After three decades, Miller says she's just relieved the whole thing is over so she can keep focusing on her work as a victim advocate. I'll never, ever forget that night and, and the way I felt and what happened to me, but it's not, it hasn't defined me and it hasn't ended my life. It's only in some ways added to it. So um, I feel pretty blessed. There was a third man who was convicted in Miller's rape. He died in prison back in 2013. And as for those other four men you heard about from that night, Miller has never been able to identify them. Jamie Ostroff, WIT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.